I'm not scoring. Okay. What do I get if I score? To return it to Chris <laughs> Phillips. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid. And he's okay, okay. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'm trying to get a... Uh... I'm trying to get a uh, superstar trade from one of my receivers. That's why I'm kind of throwing it crazy. Here's Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, he was a busy man. That's fine, G. I'm going to do it. Look, I'm going to play my game. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play my game. You're not going 21 Z be playing like that. Ever. Not the way you was playing earlier. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000 yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game. Plus a significant achievement. Oh, I did the wrong button. I'm wilding. Hold on. down here's Burrow eluding the pressure line and he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there he'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble and it's second down okay he's not going to get the first down but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit to throw again on second down Burrow escaping the pressure line got an open man CJ Uzama. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Joe Burrow in year number two, moving around pretty good considering the seriousness of his injury last year. If you're a defensive coordinator here, what are you trying to do to slow Joe Burrow down? I think you want him to be in rhythm. I think you want him to be on time. And normally, you want to take that away from a quarterback, make him hold it a little bit longer. But when he has a chance to maneuver around the pocket, sometimes get out of it, big plays result. I want him throwing the ball on time and then tackling the receivers so there's no extra yardage. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> got the ball to him, so second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. All the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Oh, they hold me. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They hold the hell out of me. The secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. And Burrow going to throw again. Flush to his right. Open man is Uzama. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to convert by... It's a linebacker. You don't know what you're doing. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down. That's a linebacker. You don't know what you're doing. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw that every time. No hesitation. I lobbed it. That's a linebacker. He's not going to jump. I do it again, but they got a cool down. I can't call the same play. That is caught. It's Uzama. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again, it's Burrow. 
Dumps it off to Mixon. Whoa. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Touchdown, Bengals! Tyler Boyd! His first touchdown what you say? season. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening. Appreciate it. That's all, that's all I ask for. Just a little credit. That's all I ask for. I don't ask for much. Touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They got that momentum going. A touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. We're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Oh, I thought you were going to take that to the outside. I got to stop that. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They'll try the right side with Harris. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. <laughs> So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Roethlisberger. Oh, shit. Wow, man. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. On first down, it's Harris. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. the chain second and 12. they hand this off to Harris and down to the 44 five yards that time you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation it seemed pretty dire but they brought it back to third manageable with that run and now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Here's Roethlisberger. Ah, please, bro. Claypool on the receiving end. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They'll get this quickly out to Claypool. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now it's Roethlisberger. 
He gets it complete to Harris. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. And Mike Tomlin going to roll up the sleeves here and say, let's go for it on fourth. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. He's going to go up to yeah. for the end zone. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Steelers yeah, you definitely missed that. I ain't going to lie. You fucked that up. And the Bengals will get the football back. The Bengals drive about to get going. Early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, hold on. All division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Your gun all safety. Here we go. Uh, don't break, break me. After a good start to the drive. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He's going to have the hook up here to Chase. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. And Jamar Chase won the 2019 Melinda Cup Award as the nation's top receiver while at LSU. And the guy who threw him the passes there, Joe Burrow, now his quarterback at Cincinnati. From midfield now, Burrow to mix it on the check down. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Ten more there and another first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Burrow will throw. Flushed out right. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're on to something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. That nigga was open. I missed him. Oh, I saw him too late. Oh, I fucked that up. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, and I hit the wrong play. I should call a timeout. Oh, it's two minute warning. I know it's. Damn. Damn, I missed that nigga, man. Ah. Oh. Game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Mixon with a first down and more. Nigga, damn. All the way down to the 13-yard line. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what play I picked. I'm about to call a timeout, I think. From the six, Yankees slipping. On the delay, it's Mixon. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. 
Joe Mixon, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. McLeod now on the return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just Oh, they hold me! <laughs> it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. That's crazy. They had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. I do a PI. I'm behind. I'm behind you. How about a PI? A shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. It's brought in by Harris. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. That is caught by Smith Schuster. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Here's Roethlisberger to throw, sliding out of the pocket. Oh, he got a fumble there, bro. That's crazy. Brought down, but a nice little game. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. <clears throat> Chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Good luck. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Final play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. Oh, wow. That is Johnson. Touchdown, Steelers. Deontay Johnson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Steelers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half.
Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Yeah, I thought she was sad. You like, I ain't got no pass rushes on my nigga slow. And that one makes it 14 to 7. That was a good drive. So it's still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bengals drive about to get going. One second, all that remains. And they're just going to run it here. Oh, come on, on bro. Yardage, not that it matters as the final seconds tick I away. hate not playing so on comp, bro. This shit is stupid. It's the visiting Bengals out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. a one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The previous run good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now here's another carry for Harris. And of the 42-yard line here and brought down there. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Roethlisberger. He finds his man complete. That's Harris. <laughs> Three yards the game there, second down. Now it's Roethlisberger. Throw left side. Bro, what is going on, bro? My nigga is right there in the flat waiting on him. Getting ran by. That don't make no fucking sense. Here's Harris. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Enough to make the play there defensively. Von Bell, leading tackler in Cincinnati last year. They go play action with Roethlisberger. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. On first down, Harris. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down. I don't know where you saw a touchdown at. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And this is caught at the 8. 
And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They run the counter. Harris, and he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Roethlisberger will throw. Oh, what? There you go. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. They'll try and run with Easy. Harris. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. That was a huge play on third down. So now what? Do you go for it? Do you trust your offense? Or do you want to put on your defense to try and get the ball back? Me? I'm going for it right here. Don't call that same play you did earlier. Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Oh my gosh, I get blocked by two niggas. Najee Harris, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that will tie our game here in the third. So we're right back where we started. All these Bro, I got, I got, I got, I got off, one, I got off one block, and then the next got blocked. Man, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck the rest of my teammates at. Like, come on, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. Boy, you getting lucky as fuck. Drive about to get going. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this is going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan. Whoa! Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the intended receiver. And that will bring up second down. Here's Burrow. Now he's going to go deep down the left side. He's got a man complete. And they man, I thought I was a pick, too. I got scared. That shit was floating forever. <laughs> it's a gain of 34. Yeah, that shit. Joe Burrow, throw power. Low as hell. That's wild. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now Burrow. Points the target and he has it over the middle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. First down. Here's Burrow. Going for it all. Good go. Whoa. Tyler Boyd with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Bro, I hate Joe. Joe Burrow throw power so slow, bro. He didn't have such low throw power. That shit would have been there. That shit had me jumping. I was like, fuck. 
You're making me want to get back to the gym and start training again. You're talking about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this Yeah, with the nigga wide open over there. Oh, you wild. Give me that. And this throw will be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. They juked him. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. So they tried to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not as good as most of them possess. That allows for extra yardage on the return. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot. Oh, there you go. Pass interference, bro. What the hell? He's a what? And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even throw it to him because that other nigga was getting held. The game saved me on that. I ain't gonna cap. Now it's Burrow. Flush to his right. He finds his running back Mixon. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Got the defense. This nigga Joe Mixon, low key catch everything. He like Christian McCaffrey on this game. Continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before. I can't see my wide receiver icon. There's Burrow setting up to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's Boyd. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out things that they consider safe. Flushed out right. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Burrow. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. <laughs> Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And the lead now up to 14. <laughs> Hey, you blew it with that interception, dog. Here's McPherson to send this one away. McLeod now on the return. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And last time was a pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw it. that nigga, whoa, digital grounding. Come on. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Hell no, nah, he was nowhere near the box. Side of the tackle box, there's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly set. Give me that. Who are they holding me today, bro? Hands of Eric Ebron. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and that'll bring up a third down. Here's Roethlisberger. And he takes a shot on the release. Bro, who is that slow-ass nigga on the outside? Like, why isn't he... He got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Oh, hold on. I got a wrong play. Alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Don't worry about where I'm coming from. 
That's the way. Just know we got your slot in the middle, so don't even throw it to him. Yeah, I see you. Here we go. It's Roethlisberger on oh! They hold me. <laughs> I hate this game. Time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Wow. And this is caught. Bro, my pass rush is so bad, bro. I hate my pass rush. Oh. Still an important piece of business to take care of. The extra point. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. The Bengals drive about to get going, and this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're gonna have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Oh man, it's crazy. Situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. Escape into pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right side. Got him. No. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Did he, did make he drop it or not get his feet in bounds? To no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. He gets this one to Boyd. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. But they almost hold me making my players run into each other. That one goes for 13. They almost, they almost, they try to hold me making my players run into each other. They try. But it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here we go with Burrow. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Hey man, we just gotta. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. Flush to his right. Oh no, he lost the football. And this is gonna get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football. Well, I was trying to get out of bounds so hard, dog. Down now, here's second down. Now it's Burrow. <laughs> That catch good for five. It's third down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Bro, you crazy as hell. Stop it. Talking all that mess. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Dumps it off to Mixon. Oh, able to avoid him. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers. All right, and drop shit. You don't know what you're doing. That should certainly be enough. That nigga was wide open. All right. That nigga was wide open. You playing with a linebacker, I ain't scared of nothing. second year quarterback and I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made yes sir because usually your rookie season 
is a continuation of your college day. You one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more. Reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. McLeod now on the return. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. One last shot for Roethlisberger. <clears throat> and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the former first-rounder, Trey Waynes. <clears throat> and he's going to go <clears throat> down. GG, GG, dog. Now run out on this game. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And they were booing Charles by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for Cincinnati, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers.